Welcome to This Fat Girl Life, a podcast about self-worth, loving yourself, and body image. Hi guys, I'm Kim, your host, and welcome to This Fat Girl Life. Tonight, I am joined by none other than the queen herself, Miss Jenny Lee. So I'm going to bring her on the screen real quick and everybody can see the beauty that is Jenny Lee. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. (laughs) Of course. So Jenny, why don't you take a moment and tell everybody about yourself? Okay. So my name is Jenny. Uh, Jenny Lee is a lot of people on Facebook and social media know me. And about a month ago, I started the group, the Queens Only Club. So it's a women empowerment group. Um, And yeah, it has grown rapidly over the last month. So. So what, what encouraged you to start this group? Why did you start it? Well, it actually, it started on just a total random I was getting ready to give up on social media altogether just because I did not want, I was tired of the constant negativity that was filling up my newsfeed. So I decided that, you know, I I was getting ready to just sign off altogether because I just, I couldn't take it anymore. It was affecting me, just my mental health. It was affecting my, everything about me. I found that I was just a very miserable person and I I honestly hated to be around myself. So um, the day before I was getting ready to just completely sign out altogether, I decided, you know what, if if I can try to change the algorithm on my newsfeed, because I really didn't want to let it go. Because I, you know, I've been on Facebook and Instagram for over 10 years and like a lot of people, it just, my whole life was on there. And I didn't, I didn't want to let that go because it's how I keep in touch with friends. It's how I keep in touch with family. And a lot of my photos are on there. And I just said, you know what, the heck with it. I'm going to, I'm going to try to change the world. So I started this group and um, I didn't really know what the purpose of this group was going to be. I just started this page and, and through another, another group, I met several women and I just said, hey, I'm gonna start this this page for all of us, just queens only. And uh, I figured, okay, well, one night it just hit me. It was like two or three days in, it hit me that I need to do something that's gonna be different, that's gonna set this group apart from everything else. And if this is a women's club and it's private, I wanna make it and create the safe space for women and figured, You know, if if I just called it the Queens, you know, the Queens Only Club, I didn't really know why I called it that. I just, it was just kind of like the first thing that came to me. Um, So I started ordering crowns for my, just people in my, you know, immediate family. And then one of the girls in our group, Tiana, had had just commented or made a post one night that she was just having a really rough week. So I just messaged her and said, hey girl, what's your, what's your home address? And I'm going to send you a little something. So unbeknownst to her, I hop on Amazon and I shipped her a crown. And two days later, I get that delivery notification and I was so excited. And I really didn't know her at all. Like I, we had, you know, talked a couple times, but I really didn't, I didn't know her, but I just knew that she was having a rough time that week with a lot of what she was going through personally. And, and as soon as she got her crown, she just started crying and But it made me feel good to know that I could change her whole, you know, the trajectory of of where her week was going and how bad it was. So from that point, I had more and more women, you know, inviting themselves into the into the group or, you know, ask their their friends were inviting them into the group and it started growing. So it got to the point where I was then like sending out crowns randomly here and there. And then I I formed this post and just said, Hey, you know, maybe what I'll do is I'll start every week. I'll choose a couple women at random and I'll start sending crowns out. So for like the first week or so, I'd probably send out like 20 or 30 crowns myself. And yeah. And as it grew, everybody was like, well, I really want to submit my name, but I don't want you to have to take on the burden of it. If you can figure out a way to make this work, then 
let me help you or let me send you money. And I said, well, I'm, I don't want to take your, I don't want to take anybody's money, but let's do this. So from that point, that's when I was like, okay. So I thought on it for like two or three days. I'm like, God, you know, like this is not what I, this is not what I wanted was for anybody to feel obligated. Like they had to spend their money on it or, you know, contribute financially because this was something that I wanted to do. But I, I, I started the passing the crown program. And in the last month, we've we have had over twenty five hundred women email, and we have passed the crown today over six hundred times in the last three weeks. So there's oh over six hundred women that have been crowned just with this movement, and they are it's incredible. Our 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 Facebook feed is just a, it's it's amazing just the love and the support and, and the whole purpose of it yes you're getting a crown but this the symbolism and the significance of having the crown is to 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 show you that regardless of where you are and your path in life that you are worth it you do have a purpose and we as women do so much for everybody else that we never take care of of ourselves right so right. even if it's just that one piece that we can you know put on our head and it makes us feel amazing regardless of what the people in our house you know how they think we might be crazy vacuuming in in our crowns or the other day I was watching tv and and Larry my boyfriend walked in and he's like so this is this is what we're doing I said this is what we're doing and this is just me and this is I'm gonna sit here and watch tv in my crown because I can and and it's just it's like it makes you feel good it just makes you feel so good you know so the stories that are coming out and just the support that all these women are getting from each other. It's so empowering. It is so incredibly empowering. Oh, I I completely love every time of oh, I get a notification from the group of somebody posted this. I'm like, okay, I've got to go see it. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of a lot of you know notifications that I ignore. Yeah. You know, from other groups. But this group, every time there's a notification, I have to go immediately and look at it. Girl, it is addictive. It, it is. is like, isn't it? It's well, a good addiction. I mean, yeah, you know, like you and I were just talking about like my past. Mm -hmm. And there have been, you know, addiction issues. And I'm actually, we've got comments coming in. So I am putting those on the bottom. I hope you see them. Oh, good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's actually, that's my mom. Hi, mom. Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> my number one gonna, supporter right there. She's wild like, queen. Yes. There you go. <laughs> she's the queen she's, that raised the queen. That's right. She's recruitment queen. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. I I am finding myself like more and more drawn to it. And mm. I found um the whole group from TikTok. Yeah. So tell me about how you decided to put it over onto TikTok. Okay, so I started this group January 29th. And what was it? I guess like almost two weeks ago, one of my girlfriends I was talking to and she was like, you know what? You should really try. You should really get on TikTok. And um, I was like, I'm not. I'm not getting on TikTok. Like, I'm just I, I don't know how to TikTok. I, I, you know, but so I said, OK, fine, I'll give it a go. And um, so a week and a half ago, I started TikTok and I just felt like if I'm going to do if I'm going to go and I'm going to, and if I'm going to like branch out from Facebook and start incorporating this, I don't want to just go on and do dances. You know, I want to try to capture those women who have, who have this lack of, of need and this lack of space where they just, we all have a story and we don't have anywhere to share it or feel like we're supported, you know? So I felt like if I could go on and be myself and be raw and real and transparent with everybody, regardless of, what I've been through or anybody's been through, then I'm just going to go and and I'm going to go for it. So I started creating videos and um, started promoting the past the crown movement, really, because I feel like it's so important that. We all we all deserve we all deserve this. So it, starting forming TikTok was a complete whim. And within a week and a half, there's nearly six thousand followers um, just on TikTok. And it is growing by the minute, literally. Every time I go to check my phone, I've got over 100 more notifications of just women asking how they can be a part of it because they just have no, they have nowhere else to go where they can 
feel this. And, and, and like the, the thing about it is where else can you go be around a bunch of women where there's no drama? And that's what I, I love the most is there is no drama. I won't, I don't put up with it. I do I'm, not. I mean, you'll see a little bit of it here and there and it, I have an amazing team of, of moderators mm-hmm. who uh, this would not run and this this could not could not continue if I didn't have these women in my my tribe, like Joy just said, in my circle. Like I really it, I, I couldn't do it without them. Well, but I we, think what you guys have started is the Mental Health Monday. Yes. Now, what brought that on? So, you know, everybody struggles with mental health. And especially over the last year with COVID and everything, it's like, I really feel like a lot of that has come to light with a lot of people, but there's a stigma around mental health, right? Like no one wants to talk about it. So nobody talks about it, but nobody wants to reach out and help. And, and, and there's really no place to go to talk about it. You know, a lot of people are either embarrassed or they don't have the financial means to go just to, to talk to a therapist or to vent or whatever the case may be. So um, Tiana and Andrea actually have said, you know what? There's a lot of women who could really benefit from this. So I have just completely allowed them to take this and run with it. And last Monday was our first mental health, you know, our, our first mental health Monday. And it was, we do a Zoom call every Monday now and it's scheduled out. So every week, it's just really like a wellness check-in with everybody. Even if you're having a great week, you can you can tune in, you can dial in on our, we've got a Zoom line that is the same every single week. It's every Monday at the same time. And um, that's posted on our page, but you can just check in and, or you can go in and you can talk and you, you can talk about your week or the things that you're struggling with. Because you know what? Like if you're going through it, someone else is going through it too, or someone else has gone through it. And I don't know about you, but for me, I just feel like I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear advice from someone if they've not gone through what I'm going through, you know, and and, 100%. Yeah. So I just really feel like that's the best place for people to just be able to go and, and talk about the things that are, that are bothering them. So, um, I want to say last week there were over 20 girls that were on this call and, and for the first time, I mean, that's pretty big considering it's, a Zoom call, and you know we're all on camera, right. and and it's it's a big deal. So it's it's really cool. Well, I am going to make an offer. You are under no obligation to accept it. Okay. Um, as part of my life coaching course, I do a free course. It's oh yeah. I do intro to coaching. It's called the Letters to Myself Project. Oh. Where you write a letter to yourself each day for five days. I would love to volunteer that service to the group if you are interested. Like I said, you're under no obligation. Don't yeah. feel like you're on the spot. Yeah. And if you want to check it out, I'll send you the link. Please and do. And if you want me to do it for the group, I would love to do it. I would. Please do. Let's let's continue that conversation. Let's look let's look to do that because I just feel like I'm all about helping women and, and, and encouraging women. Obviously, I mean, look at what's been created in just a month you know, period of time and in any way that we can look to help each other and support each other and grow and become the best versions of ourselves. I am all about the girl power behind it. So yes. Well, and that what you just said really kind of leads into the next topic of the importance of having that community of women that are supporting women. And I think men need the same thing. There needs to be a community of men supporting men. Mm-hmm. Because men know how to best support each other. Right. Women know how to best support each other. We understand the needs of another woman when it comes to that mental, yeah, that emotional, you know, I yeah. love my husband dearly. He doesn't get it. He no. doesn't always understand. No. You know, and I think we all have that. Yeah. So that's part of what I love so much about this group is yeah. there is just so much support. Yes. And is that what you were going for when you first started it? I didn't know what I was going for when I first started it. Honestly, I started it because I met a group of girls in, in one page and I knew I had a feeling that that page was getting ready to shut down. But I felt so connected to these women that I wanted to be able to keep in touch with them. But as it just kind of grew, it just it went that direction. And now, even though it, it's only been a month, like I can't imagine this 
this movement and this purpose and this empowerment, like I, this is the happiest I've been and I can't remember. I have not had a bad day in the last month and I, I cry happy tears because it's like, I'm so grateful because, you know, it's like you, you have your family, right? But mm -hmm. then, you, then you, it's, it's funny because it's like you, you bond with these women who you don't even know, but it's like, you feel like they're your lifelong sisters because they just get it, right? Like, <laughs> Where have you been all my life? That's kind of how I feel. Joy, we are apparently one and the same. <laughs> yes, Green Bay Packers. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, um, I love you, Joy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. So is this something, yeah. that, I mean, obviously right now you have the one group. Is mm -hmm. this something that like you would see later on in the future, like developing chapters for each state or... <laughs> So I've thought about it, um, and that has been a question. But my thing is, is you know, I've the way that this group is growing, it's growing together, and I want it to stay together. So I feel like chapters eventually, yeah, maybe kind of like a sorority, you know, exactly. where we all have a common, we all serve the same purpose, and we all, we all know exactly what the intention of this group is. So it's something that I've thought about, but I just, I'm, I feel like it's so new that even though it's grown so much, um, we do have a nonprofit that's coming up. Nice. I'm in the process of working with, um, you know, forming this into a nonprofit and, 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 and seeing where that goes. So, um, I really just want to be able to give back and help women. And in order to do that, we'll have like merchandise and things like that. That'll, you know, when, when, that'll help fund the nonprofit. So that way when, you know, our sisters need help, um, we'll be able to provide support. I love that. I mm -hmm. love that. I, I hope you are seeing the comments that I'm posting on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. These women adore you. you there's so much love in here. I know. It is insane. Like it just, I don't know what I've done to, to deserve all these women, but I know it's not just me. I mean, yes, I started the page and, and I found it there or whatever you want to call it, but it really just, it's not all me. It's, it's all of you guys. Like I, this would not be here if it wasn't for everybody, you know, and, and you included, like it just, every single person who's here is just making y'all are the reason of what keeps this, this going. So well, I'm, I feel so blessed that I even, because I found you, like I said, on TikTok. On TikTok, I, I know. I randomly came on my For You page. Yeah. I really wasn't looking for anything. I just, you know, I lay in bed at night and just yeah. scroll through my TikTok. And mm -hmm. there you were. I was like, what <laughs> the heck? She's wearing a tiara. I am. You sure know, knows. and I had to, like, I had to know why. Yeah. And then I saw, like, I went to your bio and it had the Facebook page. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I got to check this out. You know, mm -hmm. and it just it is that pretty much like what happens normally? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's this page is one hundred percent organic. It's organically grown. I have not paid a dollar for any advertising. I haven't had time to. Like it has literally grown so fast and so big to the point where I haven't had time and I refuse to pay for advertising because I don't I don't want to have to pay for someone to be here. I want people to be here that want to be here. So, if, that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you, if you aren't coming based off of wanting to be a part of the movement and part of the group and the sisterhood, cause that's really what it is. Like it's a secret sisterhood. It's like a society thing. Yeah, you know, it's like a secret society that I get to be part of. It, you are, <laughs> you are, you're, you're in it girl. Like you are that. in the club. <laughs> yes. It's, it's our girls club, you know, it's where we can come and we can be ourselves and we, we know that we're not going to be judged and we don't have the BS drama to deal with. So you can just, oh, Peggy, you can just be yourself. Exactly. And you know, no matter what, like we are going to support you. 100%. Well, I, mean, I freely admit, I, you know, have had people that look at me and they're like, there's a way you can be professional with tattoos on your chest. Oh my you gosh. Know, yes. And then last night there was the thread of what do your tattoos look like? Mm -hmm. And I had to post three different pictures to show yes. all mine. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. I love it. You know, we're, we're all so different, but that's what makes us beautiful. And like, that's what makes us who we are. And, and it's not, 
and this is so cliche, but like beauty really is what's inside. Like mm -hmm. you are the most beautiful person if you're beautiful inside. It doesn't okay. matter what you look like. Like you, you, you are only as good as what's in here. So it's, it's amazing because everybody is just so cool, so supportive and so loving. I love that. And I, I actually found a quote today that I'm putting on my Facebook page later on in the week about how loving yourself is like the biggest middle finger that you can give the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I have to use that, you know, but yeah. that's what this group is about. It's about loving yourself. Learning and to love yourself. Loving yourself. And yeah. 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 Yep. Building that confidence and, and finding your worth and knowing that no matter what, you've got the support. You have 5,000 new sisters at this point. Like no matter what, you've got a crew, you've got a whole tribe standing behind you. And it's like, it's the best feeling ever because you could feel so alone in your life. And then you come into this outlet and you're just like, oh my God, they get it. They get it. They get me. Like, I feel like I belong. Exactly. And it's because you do, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't belong, you, we wouldn't keep you there because we've had to remove a lot of people and yeah. rightfully so, because I just, I'm very particular on who I want in there. And there's, if you, if you are not fitting that mold, you don't get to stay because it's, it, we, we all, have to come together. Well, I've noticed you're very protective of your girls. Very protective. You are like, very I got protective. your back. Yes. Yeah. Well, because I preach at the safe space and I I strive to do that, whether people agree with it or not. If you don't agree with it, I don't really care. Go start your own group. But like this is my group. I'm it's like I'm I feel like a mama and I'm like taking care of all my babies because if I'm preaching it's a safe spot, you need to be able to trust that with this many people, it's going to be safe. So I'm very, very protective of this place. Yeah, I did. And I'm I, glad I, that you I see that. that. Mm -hmm. Well, and you do all of this on top of working a full-time job. Mm -hmm. How do you find the time? I don't, <laughs> you know, I've had to learn how to, um, man, I've just had to learn how to manage my time, really. I, I, I don't sleep a whole lot. Um, my mind is constantly running. I struggle with ADHD. I always have my whole life. So my mind is just constantly running with ideas and just different things. But this, I, I find the time because I want, I want to make this work. So I dedicate, you know, obviously I have my job. I'm in outside sales. I'm a territory manager. I cover two states. I'm, I'm over oh North Carolina and Tennessee. Yeah, and Tennessee. I have over 700 customers between my two states. And then I also have my, between Facebook and TikTok, my almost 12, 11, 12,000 girls. So it's a lot, but I love it. And until, until there comes a day where I don't feel like this is serving a purpose anymore, which I don't see happening anytime soon, if ever. I think I'm the comments are showing that. that. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think you know, we've had comments the entire episode. Mm -hmm. And I think that shows how needed this is. So yeah. I applaud you Thank for you. seeing that need and mm -hmm. finding a way to help. Oh, because especially you. in this pandemic age that we've been in for the past yeah. 14 months. Oh my gosh. You know, we need that outlet and mm -hmm. you have provided that. So I totally applaud that. Thank you. That means a lot. That really does mean a lot because it, it's like I said, when I started it, I really had no idea the direction that it would turn. And now, even though we're only, a, you know, this baby's a month old, pretty much. I just, I couldn't imagine any other purpose. We, we all, we all have something we never knew we needed, but now we can't live without it. So, yeah. Well, I'm so glad that you were on the show with me. I'm glad I have you one final question for you. Okay, and just, I told you about this over the yeah. phone, but I didn't tell you what it was. Yeah, let's have I, it. This is my final question that I always ask every guest, and it puts okay. me on the spot. Okay. What is the number one thing that you love about yourself? My heart. Oh, I love that. Can you well, I, just, I, I always want to give. Like, I'm, I have, like, the I'm like one of the most loyal people you'll ever meet. 
you know, and, and I, I love my heart because it's, it's constantly growing. Like just when you feel like it can't grow anymore, it grows more. So I just, I, I love that about myself because I know that, and I know that I can help so many people just you have by, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so yeah, I love my heart. Oh. Yeah. Well, I love your heart too. And I'm so Thanks. glad that you agreed to come on here. I know it was so last minute. Yeah. Um, anytime so though. Anytime. You were here. And definitely I would love to have you on again, especially when yeah. the nonprofit happens. Yeah. Let's bring you back on and talk yeah. about it. Let's yeah. put it out there for the world. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I am down with that. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you. And let me know because I would love to take you up on your offer. Of course. Of course. I will uh, probably t either later on tonight or tomorrow okay. morning. I'll yeah. send you the link to the group and you can check it out. Okay. I would love that. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. Yes. Uh, next week, I'm going to be joined by another Facebook group. Um, owner here in Colorado Springs. Um, again, we're going to be discussing that important, importance of having that community to support each other. We're going to continue this conversation yeah. because I think it's important to have ladies. So definitely make sure that you have subscribed to this page. That way you can be part of every conversation we have. Again, Jenny Lee, thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. This is really fun. Of course. Thanks, Bye, girl. guys. Have a right. great night. Good night. Thank you. Yay!